Welcome to Sketching Fine Art. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little unboxing of one of my favourite brands, if not the most favourite brand out of the ones that I use, coloured pencils, the Caran d'Ache Luminance Full Box 76 set. So I've been using these pencils for many years now. I've been buying them as singles. I've never bought a box of these before, purely because there's only certain colours that I use in my artwork. But I thought now's finally the time where you know we've got a bit more time especially with the coronavirus we're all sat at home I thought you know what let's really delve into the full color set of this amazing pencil now if you watch my previous videos or if you've watched any of my online classes on colored pencils which I'll leave descriptions uh, links in the descriptions below then you'll know that I do a lot of kind of work on coloured pencils. So do check out my classes. I've done a full range of classes. These are long length classes that delve into deep ins and outs of coloured pencils. We look at polychromos, Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. We look at Prismacolors. And my next class is actually going to be on these Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. But anyway, let's get back to this unboxing. So I'll just quickly show you some of the pencils that I've already got. Let's just get a little zoom in on them. There. So these pencils, like I said, absolute beautiful pencils. Quality wise, they're literally number one in my opinion from the ones that I've used. I've used a lot of brands in the in the past in my years of uh, working as a graphic designer and illustrator, but this is really number one. I would say this is number one alongside the Polychromos. I think that these are the two best pencils that you can buy uh, if you're really serious about doing your art, and especially if you're serious about selling your art. And that's what it's really all about the entire kind of you know the whole hype of this pencil is really to do with one main thing and that is what we've got over here it's all about this light fastness if you can see over here it says the highest light fastness 80% LFI so this LFI LFI 2 ASTM D6901 rating this is just a rating system of how um, light fast a pencil is now the the more light fast a pencil is the more it can withstand uh, fading over time so you want to be using pencils that are, have maximum light fastness and with this rating system that they have on this luminance um range that they've got this Caran d'Ache luminance all of the pencils, absolutely every single one of them, so we've got 60, uh, 76 here, they all have very high life, light fast ratings on this scale. Um, with the Polychromos, they again, they also have high uh, light fast ratings, but they use a different scale. And on a couple of pencils, the light fastness isn't as high as the maximum. So uh, that's something to bear in mind. Uh, another thing with this is that you get 76 um, colors, and included in that, I think you have either get 76 full colors and you get two full blenders or that two full blenders is part of that 76 I'm not sure we'll find out when we open this up but you get the 76 that's the total colors that they have in the range and it's a beautiful color range that they have it can literally cover pretty much all types of uh, you know types of artwork that you do whether you do landscape portrait or just you know pop art style or you know even graffiti style artwork it really will give you the entire color range that you would most possibly need. The Faber-Castell Polychromos, they um, have a bigger color range, so they have the 120 colors in their box, which is what I did the unboxing of in my uh, previous videos. So do check that one out. But uh, in terms of this one here, if we just turn this around, it'll give us our uh, kind of colors here. So let's just see if we can get a zoom in on that. So you can see right over here, we've got uh, the entire color range that's in the box. So there you have it. You've got some nice warms going on to the cool colors and you've got your mid earthy tones and then you've got your kind of pastel colors here and then you've got your nice gray tones down here. So yeah, I'm quite excited about this because I've been waiting to get this set for quite a while now. Um, it is an expensive set. This is not the type of um, uh, kind of art material that I would suggest any beginner to get. So if you're a beginner in the world of colored pencils, then absolutely do not get this box because you're going to need to build up your skill level. And, you know, for the price, you might not even like them. And there's nothing like, you know, spending so much money on something and then later on finding out that you didn't like them. Now, they do a whole range. They don't just do a 76 set. You can buy them as individuals like I've been doing uh, all these years. So this is just a sample of some of the ones that I've got. You can buy them as individual single stock uh, pencils. 
uh, usually from online stores. It, they're not really available in the UK uh, from art stores. They're usually just available online, and that's where I get them from. Um, and they can be quite expensive. It can be like three pound, four pound, even sometimes five pounds per pencil. And that's always the case, even with the box sets. Uh, they pretty much work out to be, I think, maybe just over three pound each. Um, but however, they have kind of dropped in price uh, recently uh, in terms of this box set. It has actually dropped in price. It's still expensive, but it has dropped recently, which is why it kind of urged me to just, you know, go ahead and get this. And I thought, you know what, let's get it and let's get on with the unboxing. All right then. So so let's get on with this unboxing. So the actual box itself, I mean, it's an expensive uh, set, but uh, it doesn't come in like a wooden box. Um, it just comes in this cardboard box. Um, and you'd think that, you know, they would have actually given you a metal tin or, you know, something a little bit more rigid than just cardboard, because, you know, cardboard can get bumped around. So that's quite disappointing uh, from a quality perspective. They should have really done a metal tin like the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Uh, but hey, you can't always get what you want in this world. Well, can you so uh, let's just go ahead and crack this one open I want to make sure that I don't actually scratch that cardboard because again it is cardboard I want to maintain it because I do want to keep my pencils in this box uh, so that they don't get mixed up with my singles there we go out of the way and there it is. I mean, the cardboard does feel nice. The cover does feel nice on this. Um, you know, it's got a nice smooth matte finish to it. Um, uh, and, you know, it does. Uh, it is very nice and vibrant. You've got the sticker there. Um, so let's just crack this one open. Oh, exciting time. So just lift that lid. Wow, look at that. Put that lid to the side there. So you've got your... Leaflet down there, the Caran d'Ache Luminance Leaflet. If you open this up, it'll just be a standard. It'll tell you a little bit about the characteristics and it'll tell you about the different assortments. So that's actually interesting. So over here, we've got the, um, so they come in a size 12, a pack of 12, pack of 40, pack of 20 and pack of 76. So you get this for orientation. Now, if you want to try this out, I would probably suggest get yourself a pack of 12 colors. It'll give you a nice range or maybe just get yourself uh, a couple of singles. So maybe get yourself three or four singles, um, uh, you know, just the primary colors or whichever colors you fancy. And that way you'll know whether you like this pencil or not. This is a soft core pencil compared to the um, Polychromos by Faber-Castell, which are a little bit more hardcore. Uh, these are apparently wax-based, um, so they're very similar to the uh, Prisma colors, um, but again, the quality is by far highly superior to the Prisma colors in terms of light fastness and overall quality range as well. So I'll just move that to the side. There's nothing special on the back of there. Leaflet on the, on the other side. And there you have it. So let's just have a look at the inside part of this box. So we've got this box and it's got like a, a kind of like a nice rubber felt lining on there, which is nice. It's very good for protection. And the cardboard itself, to be honest, you know, I was saying that it's just made out of card. It is quite rigid. It's quite nice and sturdy. So I don't think it's going to easily bend. But again, they should have still uh, put it in a, uh, a metal tin, in my opinion, because, uh, you know, the price that you pay for something like this, it should have super premium materials right so let's just move this first tray to this first tray here we've got some nice blues beautiful blues gorgeous warm colors as well we've got the whites and the creams and the actual tray itself uh, if you have a look here uh, you've got this nice little tag so you've got that felt aligning so each pencil is actually let's just get a zoom in on that so each pencil fits in really really nice with um, uh, its own little kind of cutout so I'll just remove this pencil here so you can see here you've got a nice perfectly shaped cutout for each pencil so that will avoid the pencil uh, banging into each other or you know moving um, and that's re that's really a nice touch and then and if you just hold these sides, so just get that zoom back in. If you just hold the sides, uh, these little tabs that you've got, you can just remove the tray and move it along. Very similar to the Faber-Castell ones that we did. And then on this second tray, so we've got one tray and then we've got two trays. And I think it's three all together. So here we have it. So you've got the second one here. Uh, let's just do a zoom in. 
And over here we've got some nice brown colours going here, and we've got some nice greens and browns, uh, earthy tones, very nice. And that's looking really nice. I mean, they, they look gorgeous, don't they? I mean, they look like they, they're, they're sweets, aren't they? And you don't want to even use them. So, uh, there we have it. So, that's the last set there. Uh, the last one, does that have a little... It doesn't have a pulley thing on the last one, so they're just fixed into the bottom part of the uh, box. And over here, we've got the colourless blenders. It's just basically a hexagonal... Um, uh, kind of stick with the blender material in it. So this is the colourless blender here. So there you go, you get two colourless blenders and I think you do actually get 76 actual colours, yeah. So you do get 76 actual colours and then you do get the colourless blenders. Now, again, so th these pencils, I don't use these pencils just to, you know, uh, have you know, to do hobbyist sketching or, you know, just sketch for fun. I'd use these pencils for actual artwork that I sell. Um, uh, so for me, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do a quick little sketch and I'll use some of these colors in my small sketch and then at the end we'll come up with a, a final kind of opinion on what we think about these colors so let's move on to that one
Okey-doke, just done my little illustration with my Caran d'Ache Luminance new set and I've got to say I really enjoyed doing this. I mean if you have a look here, I'll just do a zoom back. The saturation on these are unbelievable. They're beautifully saturated, highly pigmented, so easy to blend. I mean my style of sketching is usually I do colour first and then I go in with my inkliner to create that illustrative ink sketchy type look. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can actually Actually create the darks with the pencils themselves. Now the only thing with the pencils are that they are a soft pencil and um, uh, you might have noticed that I'm, I've kind of like gone down quite a lot on them by just adding a little bit of colour. Now that can be, um, uh, you know, sometimes you might not like that, you might prefer a more stiff, harder um, um, lead that's in a pencil and if that's the case then you're better off getting the Polychromos Faber-Castell because they're a lot more stiff, they're oil based. Um, however, with these they're just super creamy and buttery and they blend so easily. I mean look at these colours, I've hardly laid down any colour and I've ha hardly had to do any burnishing uh, in terms of like you know really have to blend the colors and they just blend so easily together and I think that's one of the key aspects of this uh, pencil um, do check out my uh, color pencil class series uh, which I'll be leaving links in the description below I'll also leave links to all the materials that I use for this illustration, including the Caran d'Ache box and all the equivalent uh, smaller sets of this pencil. So if you are considering getting this, um, then I do suggest you maybe get a couple of pencils, like I said before, maybe just what, uh, you know four, four or five pencils, maybe the primary colours and maybe a black and a white, and give it a go. You may like it, you may not, but if you do like it, then yeah, I would definitely recommend getting the full set because having all the colours, especially if you're serious about your illustration and artwork is always great um, rather than just having a few colors at your disposal and again I've not used that many colors in this I've just used some purples I tried like touching up on all the different types of colors uh, in the set just to give a kind of overall view of this and you can see uh, there's not even much of a wax bloom on it I mean they are wax based colors uh, whereas with the Prisma colors uh, you get a lot of wax bloom when you work with them so there's a lot less wax bloom on this high Highly pigmented, highly saturated, beautiful pencils. Absolutely recommend if that's what you want to get into. So, again, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Check out my classes, check out my coloring book series. Um, which is now available to buy on Amazon. Um, I personally wouldn't use these penciled, um, uh, coloured pencils just to colour in pages. I don't think they, 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 they kind of qualify for that. I think these are more uh, pencils that you want to produce artwork to sell or kind of like, you know, to keep for a long time for yourself personally. I mean, you can, can, you can do colouring in pages with these, absolutely, but I just think it's an expensive option. I think you can get similar results like this uh, for a lot cheaper, especially if you're not in Intending to sell your artwork. So, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more. Follow me on this channel and also follow me on my teaching channel with links that are going to be in the description below. And hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. So, take care of yourself, keep sketching, and peace.